ultimately we're going through an industrial transformation that is on the order of what happened when people transitioned from coal to oil. And we're going through a shift that's as big as replacing the entire fossil fuel industry with battery and electrification. I originally got interested in fuel cells after watching An Inconvenient Truth uh, from Al Gore. Did a couple years of fuel cell research, realized actually that batteries were the key technology for the clean energy future. The mission of our company is really to drive deeper decarbonization of the transportation sector. Existing lithium ion batteries are pretty decent for passenger cars, but they really are way too heavy when you're talking about electrifying aviation, when you're talking about long haul freight trucking, maritime transportation, you really need much more advanced energy storage technologies. And our goal is to really apply fundamental innovation and new battery and cell designs to really enable the next wave of electrification beyond passenger vehicles. If you look at the aviation sector in particular, energy density is a critical performance metric for that field. And the reason is that airplanes at the end of the day are extremely dominated by weight. Lithium ion batteries are a small fraction of the energy density of jet fuel, I think probably 1 50th or 1 hundredth of the energy density. And so when you look at the electric airplane designs that people are coming up with with lithium ion batteries, the batteries are full 30 to 40 or even 50% of the weight of the entire aircraft. When you have that many batteries in a plane, at the end of the day, you cannot fly far enough for the businesses and applications that you want to serve. And ultimately, it's not economically efficient because most of your weight is just batteries and aircraft. You're not actually carrying around useful payload, whether it's cargo or people at the end of the day. Our innovation is a new next-gen battery chemistry based on a lithium metal anode and a proprietary, highly stable liquid electrolyte. This ultimately lets us build a battery cell that provides 70% more energy per weight or volume compared to the best lithium ion batteries on the market today. I think the aviation industry is highly dependent on the success of more advanced battery technology with higher energy density. If this innovation does not succeed, then companies will be basically forced into a divergence, either using lithium ion batteries, but really for a very, very tiny fraction of aviation applications that are relatively niche, and then looking at fuel cell technology for longer range aircraft. Battery life is critical for a number of different reasons. Fundamentally, it comes down to a total operating cost calculation for our customers. At the end of the day, they want to use your batteries more times so they can amortize that capital cost of the battery across more flights and more payloads and more cargo. Keybrake is focused on developing an extremely high performance and safe battery. These are the two critical requirements, particularly for electric aviation, where both the needs for energy density and power, as well as extremely high levels of safety and reliability are critical for this industry to electrify properly. The CalSeed funding ultimately helped us to grow our team and develop some critical technologies early on that ultimately helped us to raise our first seed funding round from Boeing's venture capital group. At the core of our culture is a focus on mission and really being the pioneers that will enable electric aviation to really realize its full potential by leveraging our advanced battery technology. I'm Richard Wang. I'm the founder and CEO at Kuberg.